the Rice Rocketeer. Uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode. And uh, I want to start today's video by saying thank you. Uh, last week we hit 500 subscribers, and I know that's not uh, it's not a lot by YouTube standards, but for little people like me, 500 is a big number. Um, so thank you to everybody who has pressed subscribe. Um, and for those of you who have not and are tuning in for the first time, make sure to hit subscribe if you like motorcycle content like this. Uh, today I am out in Long Island. I uh, just want to take a long ride and kind of test out this new exhaust that I put on. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you will know that I bought a RaceFit Growler full system for my 2024 Triumph Street Triple RS. This bike right here. Um, so it sounds amazing it's fantastic um, and it sounds great on the highway oh my god uh, there's something about having an exhaust that you can really kind of feel it's tangible it makes you more connected with the bike um, this is pretty much a known fact to everybody out there but I'm just restating um, I love it and uh, the ride was completely different um, not to mention that I don't know how much power you gain with this particular exhaust uh, I reached out to the guy that race fit to ask not that I'm that you know fixated on it because I'm not riding on track I'm just riding on the street but um, besides sounding great it feels like I have a little extra power and uh, it's just a little more streamlined like I don't get the little glug glug at the bottom anymore um, it's just kind of a, a smooth burst of power burst is the wrong word it's just a smooth lay on of the power that I get and it seems a little more towards the middle and down low it requires less throttle uh, than it did before without it um, so, I don't know, I'll feel it out on the way home and see what I think, but uh, overall, I mean, this is the first exhaust I've ever had, and I gotta say, the experience is like 10 out of 10. Um, <laughs> I uh, feel like I gotta do this to every bike I own. <laughs> um, perfect on the highway. In the city, though, I can foresee it being a little too loud and unnecessary, so it did come with the DB Killer. Uh, but it didn't come with the silencer or whatever the term is for the one with uh, the fabric inside so I might opt and get that um, but I'm loving it right now and once you're moving at speed and you're on the highway I just feel like I have a presence that I didn't before um, obviously uh, but it's really nice here we go that translates to camera and uh, you know without a doubt exhaust sounds cars bikes they never sound as good on the camera as in person in person you can feel it in your chest um, it's a really rich sound coming from this exhaust I love it um, man this place is beautiful too for us city kids this is like whew, man some fresh air uh, I saw a couple animals running around um, it's great out here oh my god I gotta move to Long Island a lot of wind noise as well sorry about that guys this helmet is not the best choice uh, this is my Corsa and it's it's proving to be very windy compared to the K6S that I just bought oh that sounds so good though and cool it down for these people Guys, today, besides the exhaust and just wanted to hear that sounds, uh, I did want to get out here and I wanted to chat about something that's been on my head for the past week that I've been thinking about. Um, and that's the difference between reckless riding and aggressive riding. Um, I've looked back through some of my comments and I had a few people saying, oh, you're going to kill somebody or oh, you're going to end up dead. Uh, and I take the comments seriously, guys. I respond to a lot of them and I, I read through them because I'm curious what you guys think. Um, so. You know, I looked back through the videos that the comments were made on, and I just couldn't find any place where I was really being reckless. Um, I try my best to be res a respectful rider and not do anything crazy. I really don't. I'm pretty tame. Um, so I didn't see anything that was reckless. However, I do did see footage that I thought was aggressive. And I realized that most people probably read 
aggressive as Reckless. And I think there's a huge difference. Um, I'd be curious to what everybody thinks. Everybody has a different threshold. But uh, it, for me, I'll tell you what it is for me. So there's, like, Reckless by nature is not caring about the effects of your actions. Like, you don't care about the consequences. You don't care about anyone other than what's in front of you, what's fun, and what you want in the immediate moment. That's what reckless means to me. Um, and then aggressive is, you know, perhaps riding faster than you should. Maybe lane splitting. Um, it, well, actually, those are really the only two that I can think of for aggressive, for being aggressive. And I gotta say, unfortunately, for motorcyclists, that's how you kind of have to ride a lot of the time in the city. Um, you know, I know the argument is, well, you decided to buy a motorcycle, so it's on you. You can't just ride aggressively because you have a motorcycle. But the fact is, it's my life, and uh, it's all of our lives when you ride. Um, so I'll take the flip side where it's like if I get, you know, called out for, for riding aggressively and they, I get a ticket or something, I'll take the ticket. I've gotten two tickets in my life, and I've never argued against either one because I said, you know what, you're right. There were, there were reasons behind me doing what I did, but regardless, that's what it is. So it goes both ways. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I just think, keep in mind that a lot of the laws that work for cars don't work for people on motorcycles, such as just stay in your lane and stay behind the car in front of you. Not always a good idea if you're on a bike. Um, oftentimes it's fine, um, but mind you, you have less traction. You have 50% of the traction that a car does. Uh, you don't have anything around you. So if you're behind a car and they stop short, a fender bender for a car is could be a life sentence for you. Um, so that's the way I look at it, and I don't do the things I do, you know, just because they're fun. Uh, we certainly all get our bursts of energy, but for the most part, if you see me split in the lane or you see me uh, speeding, it's oftentimes to, you know, get out of a situation that I'm foreseeing. Um, you have to look ahead, you have to read. We, and, you know, oftentimes people in cars, what I've noticed is I, I look in the, the mirrors of any car that I pass, right? I also look through the back windshield, and oftentimes I see that people's attention is elsewhere. It's not on the road where it should be. So I'm not gonna wait to find out if they're gonna drift left or right, or if they're gonna stop short, or whatever the case may be. I'm going to proactively get myself out of that situation, and that's just what it is. So uh, I just wanted to kind of address that, and uh, I don't know, perhaps make it clear. I know there's a million situations, and people always will be like, well, that one time, this you didn't need to do this or do that. Guys, I make a, a decision in the moment. Um, and again, if I get called out and it's absolutely wrong, no problem. I'll take my licks, but uh, I'm not going to find out if that car that who has a driver who's not paying attention is going to realize that he should be slowing down when he's not. Uh, I'm not going to wait around behind them to figure that out. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Reckless versus aggressive driving. What's your threshold? Um, like, what do you? What determines whether something becomes reckless for you? Okay, that sounds good too. I think this is the right turn. I don't know. <laughs> See, I gotta figure out where I'm going. I'm in this very sweet town. Uh, I made it 116 miles on one tank, which is honestly a lot better than I thought I was gonna do with this exhaust installed. Um, I know all exhaust kinda affect fuel mileage, but that doesn't seem so bad because I rarely go 100 miles. Ah. So jumping back to exhaust, since I'm all about exhaust this week, <laughs> uh, this exhaust is like incredibly, incredibly loud. I think just because I'm not used to it. Um, but I know the the whole battle about them, right, is like that they're disruptive, they're incredibly obnoxious. Um, I'm not. I'm in between, guys. I don't know. Like, I, I'm a good old boy. I don't I don't want to disturb that many people, right? I don't buy an exhaust. I don't want to make so much noise that every time I roll by, everyone turns their head. Um, 
But I also think there is something to the loud pipes save lives mindset. I don't think they actually save lives. I don't think getting an exhaust is like a sure proof way not to get in an accident. But I think it significantly decreases the likelihood of someone not seeing you. And that's like the number one rule of riding a motorcycle, right? Is that ride like you're invisible. Um, absolutely. But I think it's a con staying safe on a bike is kind of a, a combination of the two. One, you have to be somewhat seen or, you know, it ha people have to be aware that you're there in some way. Um, and an exhaust is the first way to do that. Um, now, mind you, it can go either way. Uh, a lot of people don't like the sound of loud exhausts and may try to run you off the road because of it. So, again, it is not, you know, having a loud exhaust does not mean ride freely and carelessly. But what it does mean is that you now have people's attention. Maybe. <laughs> you have a better chance of having people's attention. Um, and if you have someone's attention, the rest is up to you, right? I will say I feel like I have much more of a presence on my bike with this exhaust making all this noise. Um, I know that the majority of people can hear me now. And so the question is what am I going to do with that? What am I going to do with being being seen? Oh, too hot, too hot. <laughs> feels so good. <laughs> Laying into the throttle feels so much better than with the stock exhaust. Oh my god. I do think that it gives me more of a presence, which is nice, but now you have to combine that visibility or presumed visibility with uh, how you ride. Ooh, pretty. Long distances on this bike. It's not meant for that, but uh, it's a, I did 100 in a straight shot. Uh, 113, actually. Uh, and that should hurt. <laughs> I'd be ready to do another 100 right now. Well, I hope I'm ready to do another 100 because i got to get home, but uh, I think 100 mile increments is probably the max. Not that my tank would allow for much more than that, but... Uh, I am also trying out these Dainese boots, uh, the shin-high boots that I got the other day, and uh, they're awesome, but they're not. I think they're just new and they're crispy, so I have to break it in, break them in. Um, but they're... Uh, they're also meant to go on track bikes where you're like fully hunched over where your your foot is at a different angle so um, I think once they soften up a bit they'll be really satisfying um, I do have I, I take peace of mind in the fact that my ankles are absolutely protected that's a really nice notion <laughs> uh, I was always worried about that with like my quote-unquote city shoes uh, because I just didn't feel like on the highway they would really hold up much so the other thing I think about a lot too, right, is when I'm thinking about reckless versus aggressive riding, I think about the driving culture. Um, and I don't really have stats for like the, the rate of accident in other countries, um, but I've been to Vietnam. Uh, I've had friends who've been to Germany. Germany, apparently in Germany, they take driving very, very seriously. <laughs> and. Uh, I just know that the American mentality has always been, you know, it's a land of opportunity, right? Me, me, me. Uh, capitalism, money. Um, I, I don't mean to be cynical. I just mean that's kind of represented in every corner of the culture. Um, and then when it comes to driving, I notice, at least in the city where I'm from, it's very much that mentality, right? Like people don't signal. When you do signal, it's like way too late. Whenever there's an accident, it's more about like whose fault it was and like I was doing this and I was doing that. 
Um, you know, if that's the mentality, a motorcyclist has no hope. <laughs> Uh, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. Uh, it's not about whose fault it is. It's about keeping yourself and everyone else safe. In all the accident stories from motorcyclists that I hear, it's like they have a car mentality of like, well, I was doing the right thing and I was in my lane and this guy comes out of nowhere and he just drifts into my lane and he runs me off the road. Like, it wasn't my fault at all. It doesn't matter, you know? whose fault it is or like if you were in the correct lane like the lanes don't care if you die um you know so that's why it's like you kind of have to improvise i'm not saying freestyle and just start driving on the curb and do whatever you want but what i'm saying is when you can see a situation coming up do what you got to do to get out of it and worry about if someone's gonna write you a ticket later like really it's your life that you're talking about so you know i just try to react in the moment and then think about the other stuff second. And, you know, I also try not to just break the law. There's no reason to do that. Uh, because the, the raw laws are there, theoretically, to protect the greater population, you know? But remember that they're painted with broad strokes. I just, I think that, that cliche saying of don't be the statistic uh, is really important in this case. Because it's like, just because the law says stay behind the next car doesn't mean that's in your best interest. In general, it's a good idea, um, but just be careful. If I had to sum up what I thought the main difference between reckless and aggressive riding is, I think it's intent and i know intent has no bearing like doesn't do anything to change the outcome and how your your actions are being perceived um but i think you know when you're out like this when you're riding on a, a public road and it's you know it's your life at stake other people's vision of your actions is far le less important and i don't mean don't care i just mean i really have to to you know put a pin in that <laughs> in my everyday riding because at the end of the day again it's my life and while my intentions don't do anything for anyone else they do do something for me and when I'm riding it is for me um, so long as I'm not endangering someone else um, that's just kind of how I have to ride how I have to live with myself because I'm not willing to just abide by other people's expectations of me as a motorist because it eases their nerves it calms them down you know um that comes second to what i need to do to keep myself alive um and again it doesn't do anything to change the reality of the actions of my actions but it keeps me alive and if you know someone pulls me over then so be it and then we'll deal with it then uh i'm not <laughs> not going to be that person who's like, well, I did everything right, and I got in an accident, it was the other person's fault. I don't care whose fault it is. I care that I make it home. So that's all I got for today's video. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what's been on my mind and trying to figure out the difference between aggressive and reckless driving that's been swirling about for me. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think. Is there a difference between the two and where you draw your line? Um, also, do I ride recklessly? I'd be really curious to know what everybody thinks, uh, and if so, I will make some much needed change. So, uh, thank you guys again to everybody who has subscribed. We hit 500 last week. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to do so today. Click subscribe down below. Give the video a like if and only if you liked it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to enjoy this ride, ring out the engine a few times, hopefully catch some good shots for you. Peace. Let's go. Pa 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 p